All right, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use this Karnak uh, keyboard tool. Uh, you'll notice I have it open right now, so you just have to double click on the icon to open it. And I have two monitors, so right now it's on our monitor number one. I'm going to move it to monitor number two, and all I have to do is click on this and then hit save. Now, you probably won't see it here, but I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, and you can barely see the keyboard shortcut up on there. And that's because I don't have my full screen recorder. So we're going to go ahead and use this offset tool. So I can go ahead and you can see the icon here. And I'm going to offset this and let's go ahead and move that up a little so you can see it. So now if I hit enter, uh, you can see there's the little enter icon. So uh, this is really great because it shows the keys that you're using. Now you can use your keyboard shortcut. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select this right here, this shape. And let's say I'm explaining how to uh, cut the shape, put it on your clipboard, and then paste it. So I'm going to do Control X. And now you can see there's the keyboard shortcut here. And I'm going to do Control V. And then uh, here's the shortcut. It's a great way to show what you're doing while you're explaining it, especially when you're doing webinars or if you're doing uh, presentations. And in the back of the room, people can't always see uh, what you're doing. So uh, a couple things you can do is you can offset it. So let me do Control V again. So I'm going to offset it. And I can, while it's there, I can move it, right? And so that lets me um, move it up here. Let's let's do Control V again. You can see uh, how that works. Now if you're doing a screencast tutorial, uh, you're going to frame up your software. So you probably want to play around with where exactly you want it to show. A lot of people are used to seeing things down here at the bottom because of closed captioning. Uh, so that might not be a bad place to put it. So you could, you know, do something like this and then move it more into the center. And let's see how that looks. And that's kind of down here on the bottom. Now, if I was actually doing the software, I'd probably want to then move it up a little to make sure it's in my software screen. So maybe want to move it down a little bit. And so that might be just perfect uh, the way it is. Now, uh, that's how you offset it. You go ahead and hit save. Uh, you can also change the appearance. Now, I found that the these aren't working for me, the sliders, but I can manually enter it. Now, uh, a couple things. You could do shortcuts only. So um, turn that on. And then the other thing is pop-up text width. Uh, you may want to change the width. So, for example, let's say I do a 1,000, right? And um, we'll keep the opacity. Uh, or actually, let's change the opacity. We'll do to 1. We're going to change the font size to um, 120. And then let's go ahead and hit Save. And now when I hit Control V, you can see it's much larger and uh, much more dynamic. Um, you could change the colors as well. One of the things I was thinking, like I'm doing a storyline uh, thing right now. So let's say I'm in storyline. I can do a color pick, get that storyline color, right? So I've got my, my code here. So I'm going to hit Control C. And I'm going to come over here to font color. And maybe I want the font color to be white. And I want this, oops, and I want this to be that color here. And if I hit save, you can see how that looks. So it kind of would work with a storyline. So you can customize it to the application that you're using. I kind of like the opacity. So we'll do 0.5 and uh, hit save. So I do control V. You can see, I've, I can see through that. So maybe I want to make it 0.75 and hit save. Let's see what that looks like. So that probably looks a little bit better. Um, but as you can see, it gives you a nice looking uh, screen and um, it works any way you want to. So right now I'm doing a full screen. If I was just doing the software, then I kind of want to play around with the size and where I want it to be uh, displayed on the screen. Pretty straightforward. Um, the other thing I like is that you can type in text. So if I turn off the shortcut, you know, a lot of times I'm showing this uh, this secret here about doing the lorem ipsum text. So I usually tell people type in equal lorem and parentheses, right? And they're not quite sure what I'm showing. So typing it in lets them see that. Now in this case, I may actually want to let's make that 2,000 pixels wide and hit save. Now let's type in lorem. Lorem, oops there. Oh, now you can see I'm hitting backspace. So I'm going to go equal lorem. 
uh, where is it at? And parentheses. So you can see uh, how that works. Anyway, you can play around with that. It's a pretty nice tool and a lot of neat things you can do with it. It works great for webinars, uh, screencast tutorials, or even if you're doing live presentations. It's free, so you kind of get what you pay for, so there's no support, but I found it uh, works fine for me.